Biker Billy cooks with fire. All right. Yes, I'm stirring it up again. We're going to get some good cooking going. We're going to cook an interesting old-time favorite, something that you might even remember seeing on your plate when you were a little kid. Mom and maybe Dad, they'd slide this stuff over towards you, and you'd look down there, and you'd say, Geez, do I really got to eat that? Yes, but we're going to make this in a way that you're just going to love, and I'm not even going to tell you what it is yet. That's right, because it's blank, blank, a la biker, which means it's made with fire. So sit back, relax, stay tuned, because when we come back, what are we going to do, Mike and Freeze? Cook with fire. With fire. All right. The fire still burns, and where there is fire, there is Biker Billy. And now he's back. Biker Billy cooks with fire, rising from the embers to re-release the long out-of-print Biker Billy's Freeway of Fire cookbook. You can order your first edition copy of the new paperback now at BikerBilly.com. Quantities of the first edition are limited. Act now to reserve your copy at BikerBilly.com. All right, now, I got me a large, gigantic, 10-quart pot of boiling water. And we got a very sharp knife, and we're going to start off with a head of cabbage. Yes, this may sort of give it away already. It's a head of cabbage. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to peel off the outermost two, maybe three, maybe four leaves that are ugly and dirty. And we're going to just take those little babies and rip them right off that head of cabbage. We don't need them, no siree, Bob. Then we're going to take ourselves our good sharp knife and we're going to cut off that little stump down at the end because you don't need no stumps, no siree, Bob. Then you very carefully, and I'm using a boner. That's right, a boner knife that meant to cut the meat right off the bone and we're going to carefully with that thin tapered blade, we're just going to go in there and we're going to slice out that core. Yes. Do this very carefully because you can take your fingers down to the bone if you're not careful with a sharp knife, children. Now, we got the core out of there and no siree, we don't need the core. Now, big pot of boiling water, core trim, washed head of cabbage. Put it in so that the core side goes down into the water. Yes, we're gonna stuff us some cabbage. So we're gonna let that sit in there and when it's boiled a while and those leaves look tender, we're going to take it out and we're going to peel us some cabbage leaves. So let's put that pot aside, let that boil, get up our big, oh, don't I look better with the pan there, big saute pan, and let that start to get hot. Now, get the little cabbage off our cutting board. We got ourselves some margarine. Yes, margarine or butter. Take yourself a nice two-tablespoon chunk. Put that in that pan. Make sure you get it inside the pan, not on the side of the other pot like I almost did. Be careful in your kitchen. And let that start to get melted. Now, let me introduce you children. Yes, you didn't like stuffed cabbage when you was little. You're going to like it now. So let me introduce you to the spices that are going to make it delicious. Now, got ourselves a beautiful little bit of arrangement here. In the center, I've got whole cumin seeds. I've got whole peppercorns here and white cardamom. So check this out. We're going to take ourselves a nice level and check out how beautifully I level a spoon. See, isn't that beautiful? A nice, a nice level teaspoon of cumin seeds. Get it in there in that margarine. Now, let's come right back down to this little arrangement here. And we're going to get in there like a little steamroller, steam bulldozer. Get ourselves a nice level. <laughs> a level. Teaspoon of whole peppercorns. All right, now. Wait a minute, there went my teaspoon. Now, take a look at these cardamons here. You got some beautiful whole cardamom, kids. So you take the little mechanical crane. And you pick one up. And, oh man, it's so hard moving that camera like that. Oh boy. You get it over here, and you break it in two. Oh, boy, I broke it. 
Then you come back over here and you do it again. You grab one. Oh, boy, kids, here we go. Here we go. See, there it is. Oh, boy. And we crushed the little devil. All right. We squished them. Beautiful whole cardamoms, two of them now. Ha, 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 ha. I got me a jar here, one of my little favorite jars out of my kitchen cabinet. I got some beautiful, long, slim red cayenne peppers, fresh from my garden a year or two ago, oven roasted, and carefully preserved against rigor mortis. That's right. That means getting stiff. So, now, what we're going to do is, we're going to break their little heads off. Oh, God. I killed it. Now, over here, we take it over here over the pot. And we are going to apply the biker food processor. All right, let's do that again. We break its little head off. Ready? One, two, three, break. Oh, there goes its little head. Look at it dying. Oh, it's dead. Now we pick it up, and here we go. Ready? Biker food processor. This hand is a dangerous, lethal weapon. Don't touch your eyes or anything else, because you'll get a big surprise. Now... Saute and simmer those spices over a medium heat until you hear the sound of popping corn, actually, popping peppercorns and clear your cutting boards, children, because we got something else interesting we're going to use. What are we going to stuff this delicious stuff with? We're going to stuff it with bulgur wheat. Now, check this out. I got some in a bowl. Now, so you don't think I'm saying bulgur feet. It's bulgur wheat, that's right. This is whole cracked wheat. It's absolutely outrageous. I got a cup of this here. So, what we're going to do, if we look over here in our nice hot saute pan, we're slowly starting to turn colors. The flavor is outrageous. Can you smell the aromas, Mike Freeze? Yes, Bill, in the control room, it's what you made me miss the garbage. <laughs> All right. Now... When this stuff gets all toasty, you reach down into your toolkit, you pull yourself out a slotted spoon, and we're very carefully gonna take a metal receptacle, and we're gonna get the spices out, leave the marge behind. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna let them cool, and we're gonna grind them up, but first, two more tablespoons of butter into the pan. And our bulgur wheat is going to be put in there and gently toasted, roasted, toasted. So while I roasty toast this, you sit back, you relax, and you cook with fire. All right. The fire still burns, and where there is fire, there is Biker Billy. And now he's back. Biker Billy cooks with fire, rising from the embers to re-release. The long out of print Biker Billy's Freeway of Fire cookbook. You can order your first edition copy of the new paperback now at bikerbilly.com. Quantities of the first edition are limited. Act now to reserve your copy at bikerbilly.com. All right, all right. So I went for a little ride while you were gone. While you were gone, I took those spices that we got so nice and toasty, crunched and ground, put them in a the food processor. Yes, and I'm grinding them to their dust. Now, we got our big pot over here. And in our big pot is our wonderful cabbage. In our large frying pan, we got our bulgur wheat. And we're carefully toasting it. Not burning it, but gently toasting it. So, attention, cabbage heads. Isn't this what you always wanted to do with those silly little dolls? So, we're going to take carefully. See all that boiling water drain off? We're going to drain that boiling water off, and we're going to take our cabbage head and carefully... Peel some leaves off. Now, if you've got any sense, see the steam coming off of there? Yes, you could have a sauna. If you have any sense at home, you'll let this sit for a minute or two before you get in there and burn your fingers. Because although we cook with fire, we don't want to be burned by fire. But look, 
how those beautiful leaves just jump. Woo, baby! Hot cabbage head, now! It's a brain, and it's alive! It's alive! Yes, and it isn't anymore, so... In the boiling water it goes, sit those leaves aside. Now, this is one of the tricks in this recipe. If you want really tender cabbage, you can put the leaves back in the pot and let them boil. If you want nice, chewy, tough, chewy, hard to cut with a knife cabbage, don't cook them too much. So, let that simmer and cook, and let's take a look here. And we are toasting. See how it's turning colors, toasting our wonderful bulgur wheat. Now, when the bulgur wheat gets nice and toasted, we are gonna take another pot. Yes, sir, Bob. This pot has got two cups of water in it. We're gonna take our bulgur wheat, and what are we gonna do? We're gonna drown it, yes. Listen to that sizzle. Get that nice, beautiful, Bulgur wheat in two cups of water. Now this basically is measurements according to package directions. Get all that bulgur wheat out of the pan. Yes, get rid of the excess, because we're gonna use this saute pan again. Bring that bulgur wheat to a boil. Cover it, reduce the heat, let it simmer for 15 minutes, or according to package directions. Now, we're gonna do a little juggling here. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. The cabbage cooks. We've got our beautiful saute pan. Let me just wipe that extra bulgur wheat out of there. Oh boy, cause if you don't boil it, it's too crunchy. Just like our spices are. The ground spices will go in with the bulgur wheat, but first, they've gotta come out of the food processor. So check it out. It's beautiful, there's nothing in there, huh? Scrape around and look at this. Beautiful, delicious flavor spices now off that goes into that wonderful bulgur wheat that's on the other stove on the side we're going to take our food processor we're not going to clean it out we're going to grab ourselves a medium onion and trim that onion because we're going to saute yes we're going to saute some onion you get that freeze onions thank you all right mike freeze loves his onions that's why we feed them to them. All right, now, take two medium, maybe three small, maybe one large. It's all about the same. Nice, wonderful onions. That saute pan is starting to get hot. I think we can add some butter. What do you think, Mike? Definitely. Here we go. Check this out. All right, we got a little butter in the pan. Now, what ingredient do I use almost as much as I use hot peppers? Any clue, guys? The biker is now going to add the garlic. All right, the garlic, oh boy! Now, take your wonderful onions after you chop them up behind the garlic jar. Chop them up again. You're going to get those onions nice and chopped up. That butter nice and hot. And what shall we put in here? Let's see. <laughs> One level tablespoon. Is that enough? No. I didn't think so. Let's try that again. Here we go. Here we go. All right, now. The garlic's in there! And the onions are going to join them. That's two heaping tablespoons of garlic. Two to three medium onions. Delicious onions. Now, there's one other thing I'm gonna put in here and you're gonna love it, but you're gonna have to wait. Sit yourselves back, relax. When we come back, we're gonna continue to cook with fire, all right! The fire still burns, and where there is fire, there is Biker Billy. And now he's back. Biker Billy cooks with fire, rising from the embers to re-release the long out-of-print Biker Billy's Freeway of Fire cookbook. You can order your first edition copy of the new paperback now at BikerBilly.com. Quantities of the first edition are limited. Act 
Now to reserve your copy at BikerBilly.com. All right. Onions and garlic sauteing in the pan. Cabbage brain in the soup. Now, what do we got? We've got at least a half a cup of pitted black olives. Yes. And in the food processor they go. They get chopped up. All right. Yes, it's Kung Fu. So, or is it Kung Fu? Now, in there we go. We're not even going to bother cleaning this food processor once during this recipe because we're making delicious food and the seasonings are being shared. Now, we have removed, just stir those babies in there, we have removed all of the leaves that we're going to from Mr. Cabbage Brain. Yes, and we have Mr. Cabbage Brain here. What are we going to do? Doesn't it look like a brain? I mean, really, if you could think. This is your brain. This is your brain on my cutting board. So, this is your brain if you split. Now, we're just going to cut this baby into a couple of pieces. And let me tell you something. At home, be safe. Let it cool down. It's so hot. Woo! Now, into the food processor, that heart of cabbage goes. like you need some calypso music. Woo! Hot stuff. Now, get that cabbage all nicely chopped up and toss it in there and simmer and saute and you don't need the chunks. No, siree, you don't need the core. Yes, siree, if you had done this carefully, you wouldn't have the core in there. So don't do this in your kitchen because it makes a mess. Now, simmer and sauteed, chopped, sliced, diced, smashed. We want to clean out the food processor a little bit because we're going to make something delicious. While that simmers and sauteed, we'll just dip it in here. Oh my God, the way he cooks, it's disgusting. Well, what the hey, it's biker food now. I got here a couple onions. We'll get rid of their tops. We got two beautiful medium onions. I'm going to make something that is a treat. Yes, sir, Bob, that cabbage water comes in handy for something. So we're going to put those onions in there. What else should we put, Freeze? The biker will now add the garlic. <laughs> okay, a tablespoon of garlic. Now, anybody got an idea what else we should add? Hot peppers! All right, yes. Now we got two beautiful little serranos. Yes. Cut their little heads off. Boy, is this table a mess. Throw them in there. And what are we making? Anybody got an idea? All right. You had your moment to think. We are making salsa. Yes. Biker's famous quick salsa recipe. Two onions, two hot peppers, some garlic, and a 19-ounce can of wonderful whole plum tomatoes. And we can add a little bit of cilantro if we like. All right, some salt and some pepper, a little salt, a little black pepper. Oh, boy. Mmm, boy. And chop, chop, chop. I think it got wounded. Now, let's see over here. We've got our outrageous, our wonderful, just throw that away, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, bulgur wheat. Now, we're gonna mix all this together because this is the filling for our cabbage. Yes, sirry, Bob, that's a pot in a pot now. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to make even more mess. Yes, sir, Bob. We've got our wonderful stuffing there. We've got our absolutely beautiful cabbage leaves, some wonderful cabbage leaves. We'll get ourselves a nice baking pan. We'll put that aside. Take a cabbage leaf, okay, kids? Get this, get this straight. This is how mom does it in the kitchen unless dad's doing it and then he's doing it in the kitchen. So you take a scoop of this stuff Put it in the middle of that cabbage leaf. Now, before you go too far, 
And you even stuff one of these bay. Where'd my spoon go? All right, now. You take your saute pan, you take yourself some salsa. That's right, salsa, kids. So you put some salsa at the bottom of that pan. You got your cabbage leaf here with the stuff in the middle. You fold it over. You roll this little baby up. And it's a stuffed cabbage leaf. Now we'll do that one more time here. So we're going to take and lay some in there. This stuff is so tasty. I made this the other day, and I had one of my official biker taste testers come over to the house and check it out. And I said, hey, how's that hamburger in there? And they said, man, that's really good. Good hamburger. Well, it wasn't burgers. No, sorry, Bob. If you use margarine, not butter, zero cholesterol, kitties. That's right, it may be heart-stoppingly delicious, but it won't start your heart or stop your heart when you eat it. So, we're just gonna keep going here one more time, carefully. Take a whole big cabbage leaf, right? See, look at this. You can hide the biker's face behind it. So, stuff this baby up. Now, I'm gonna stuff a bunch of these up. <coughs> My voice is going away. You guys are going to go away in a second. When you go away and I go away and we all come back together, we're going to have ourselves something wonderful and delish to eat. One more time. We'll stuff one more of these here. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's the easiest part of the whole thing. So stuff them in there. Dump some more salsa on top. Oh, boy. Look at that. Beautiful salsa. Cover it with some cheese. Lots of cheese, delicious cheese, and watch very carefully. Down it goes into the magic oven, and when we come back, what are we going to do? Cook with fire. All right. The fire still burns, and where there is fire, there is Biker Billy. And now he's back. Biker Billy cooks with fire, rising from the embers to re-release the long out of print. Biker Billy's Freeway of Fire cookbook. You can order your first edition copy of the new paperback now at bikerbilly.com. Quantities of the first edition are limited. Act now to reserve your copy at bikerbilly.com. All right, so it goes in the magic oven and it comes out on the other side. And it's so hot I can touch it. Now, check this out. Here we've got a beautiful stuffed cabbage covered with cheese, cooked in delicious salsa, and I like the skin so tough you can hardly cut it with a knife. Inside, oh, I'll just rip it apart, is a beautiful stuffing. Mmm, boy, this stuff is good. Absolutely outrageous. If this came on your table, you'd say, mm, give me a knife and fork, I'm gonna eat it. Now, exciting food, destroying it, enjoying it, having fun, but remember, when you're out on the road, be responsible. Take a second and look. See that motorcycle and save a life. So remember, eat hot, ride safe. Come back next week where we cook with fire. All right! This has been an all right production copyright 1994 and 2017.